We're learning more about that doomed jet that triggered panic over the nation's capital. A wealthy realtor, Adina Azarian, and her two-year-old daughter, Aria, were killed, along with the child's nanny and the pilot. The family are longtime friends of Donald Trump and major Republican Party mega-donors. Adina Azarian wrote a chapter of Trump's 2006 bestseller, The Best Real Estate Advice I Ever Had. The Air Defense Command, NORAD, scrambled fighter jets to intercept the Cessna Citation as it flew over Washington. Jamie Juba's husband was on their porch when the boom echoed across the sky. It seriously felt like something happened right behind my house. This sounded like it was in your backyard, yet it was miles and miles and miles away. Yeah, exactly. All of the neighbors um, came running out, like our whole neighborhood, everyone came to the street. When the F-16 pilots intercepted the plane, they saw the pilot of the Cessna slumped over in the cockpit. This is an armed air defense fighter transmitting on a one to one point five. He has been intercepted. The Cessna flew from Tennessee to MacArthur Airport on Long Island, New York, but instead of landing, the Cessna reversed course and flew on autopilot 200 miles south to Washington, D.C. The plane crashed in Virginia near the George Washington National Forest. The accident site will take us extensive time to get to and the uh, wreckage is highly fragmented. The Pentagon says the plane was not shot down and it likely crashed after it ran out of fuel. Now there's speculation that all the passengers on board suffered from hypoxia or lack of oxygen caused by a sudden loss of pressure inside the plane. Dr. Bob Arnott is a physician and veteran pilot. You have three to five seconds to go over and get your oxygen mask and put it on. If it depressurized, the passengers and the pilot would have, you know, lost enough oxygenation to stay conscious and they would have been unconscious and been unaware of what was happening. Adina Azarian's father is a wealthy tycoon from Florida, John Rumpel. He not only lost his daughter, but also his granddaughter. He told the New York Times they all just would have gone to sleep and never woke up.